So you're thinking about moving to Mississauga and everyone is telling you about why you should. But what about the things that aren't so great? Listen, I've lived here my entire life and let me tell you, I can make a video much longer than this with all the reasons why you should move to the area. But if I was moving to the city for the first time, I would want to know everything. The good, the bad, and of course the ugly. So let's talk about why Mississauga can at times really suck. Welcome to the channel. My name is Aaron Putman, your South Mississauga real estate agent. If you're new to my channel, I make videos all about living, playing, and working in Mississauga. I want to be your guide to all that Mississauga has to offer. If you're considering moving to Mississauga, or maybe all you already live here and looking at moving within the city, please reach out. All of my contact information is in the description below and up here on the screen. Genuinely want to be your guide to all that Mississauga and the GTA has to offer. Let me help guide you home. With that said, let's get into it. So, like I said, if I were moving to Mississauga for the first time, I would want to know everything, specifically the reasons why I shouldn't move here. Again, Mississauga has a lot of positive aspects, and it can be a really enjoyable city to live in. For me, I can overlook the negatives, and I really enjoy what the city has to offer. But if you're considering moving and you can't get by these five reasons why Mississauga can at times really suck, then maybe this city isn't right for you and maybe you're better suited to one of the other surrounding areas. First and foremost is that Mississauga is expensive. It costs a lot of money to live here. A lot of people come from all over the world to Mississauga and housing just can't keep up with the demand. This causes, unfortunately, a shortage in housing, which in turn causes prices to increase. Combine that with the fact that when people immigrate to Mississauga, a lot don't have the means or ability yet to get a mortgage for a home, so they rent. This puts a real strain on the rental market and in turn causes rent prices to increase as well. So on average, at the time of this video, you're gonna be looking at anywhere between say $2,500 and $3,000 plus to rent a decent apartment. And to buy a home in Mississauga, you're gonna be in the area of 700,000 for a condo, up to and over one and a half million for a detached home. So yeah, it can be expensive. Combine that with just the cost of living, and this is not something that's individual to Mississauga, but rather the GTA as a whole, you're going to need a good income or at least some good savings to get you by here. Second is traffic. Traffic in Mississauga can absolutely suck at times. I won't lie to you, it's not as bad as Toronto, but it really can cause a lot of stress. Sitting stopped on a four lane road for what appears to be no reason is, is not my idea of a good day. And the fact that several major provincial highways run through Mississauga and that Mississauga is typically a car city, everyone is driving somewhere all the time. And it also seems like the city is constantly under construction and that sure doesn't help the traffic situation. If you have to go from say the south end to the north end, of Mississauga at any time around rush hour, so say around 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. to 7 p.m., it could take you 45 minutes or an hour to, or more. On the topic of cars, getting around Mississauga is best served by car. If you don't have a car in Mississauga, I'm sorry, but you're gonna spend a good portion of your day navigating the transit system. Although Mississauga does have an extensive system of buses and soon to be an LRT, to take the bus somewhere that might take you 20 minutes to drive in a car will probably take you more like an hour out of your day, at least. But again, this is generally the way it is with any city bus system. The benefit of Mississauga's transit system though is that it connects to all of the surrounding city systems as well as even Go Transit, which is Ontario's commuting rail and bus system. There are days when driving into Toronto can take 
over an hour and it's only 25 kilometers away. So the ability to take a GO train and get downtown in 20 minutes, that's always a benefit in my book. Mississauga's downtown is diverse, it's exciting, and it's always entertaining, good or bad. But also, it's very densely populated. If you don't like overdensification, then the downtown area is definitely not for you. Mississauga's downtown is the definition of overdensification. Most of the condo towers in Mississauga are located downtown, which causes a lot of traffic, parking problems, people rushing around, and just a lot of people in general. Don't get me wrong, it's a great place to go shopping or maybe for food or for coffee, but just be aware, parking is at a premium and it can definitely be difficult to navigate around there at times. Square One Mall, Ontario's largest mall, is located in Mississauga downtown and it draws for people from far and wide. Also, Mississauga's downtown hosts all the major events for the city and is also home to Sheridan College, City Hall, several museums, and theaters. So it can definitely get busy and does get busy. And finally, what everybody that lives here loves to complain about, the weather. So the climate in Mississauga, and for the most part, Southern Ontario, has huge extremes. There are days in May through say September or even October when it can be beautiful outside, but there's also days where it is extremely hot or extremely cold. You could reach temps in the summer of 35 degrees Celsius and in the winter, minus 35 degrees Celsius. When you combine that with the humidity we get in the summer or the wind chill we get in the winter, it can be so hot or so cold. But being near the lake, Mississauga does sometimes benefit from being missed by the loads of snow that they can get north of the city. But there are also times, unfortunately, that the lake brings what's called lake effect snow to the city. And if this happens, you could find yourself shoveling a couple feet of snow easy. In my opinion, the worst months are the winter months between say January and March when it's just slushy and gross outside. But a humid sweltering summer day, that can be just as hard to get through. Fortunately though, it is what you make of it. There are plenty of opportunities in Mississauga to enjoy the snow, whether it's tobogganing at a local park or cross country skiing through the trails or even going downtown and skating at City Hall. And in the summer, you can always make a hot, humid day better just by spending it down by the lake. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful and hopefully valuable. If you have any questions or would just like to know more about Mississauga or even the GTA, please don't hesitate to reach out. Again, all of my contact information is in the description below and up here on the screen. DM, text, email, call, comment, whatever is easiest for you. I'm always willing to chat. I would love to hear from you. I want to be your guide to all things real estate and all things Mississauga. That said, it would mean a lot to me and it does really help me stay motivated to make more content like this on the channel. If you like, comment and subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. Again, my name is Aaron Putman. Let me help guide you home.